If it's Oregon Trail, you know I'm going to play it. So everybody, I found a new inspired by Oregon Trail video game. It is for the PC. It is called the Climate Trail. It's pretty much a modern version, kind of like Travel Oregon, but very apocalyptic. I can never say that word, but it's it's like apocalyptic and you basically are trying to survive. You're in a burned, torn world and you have to get your supplies and actually you are part of the wagon and you have people you meet along the way. So kind of like uh, version five when they stopped letting you put names and you just had to go to the town and find people. That's what we're going to do today. So it is found on their website. You just have to click and Google search the climate trail and you're going to find it. Now we're going to hit start. The game has started. So please enter your character's name. I'm going to enter my name. Okay, so for this, uh, we'll do moderate difficulty, just because it's one of the first times me playing this. Don't really know how it's going to be. Show me the introduction. Let's do the introduction. The climate trail begins at a survivor camp in the ruins of the city of Atlanta with all their survivors. Atlanta is originally founded as the terminus of a major state sponsored railroad with a rapid expansion however it soon became the convergent point among multiple railroads spurring the rapid growth during the american civil war the city was almost entirely burned to the ground in general william t sherman's famous march to the sea sadly the climate apocalypse has scorched most of it again catherine Hi, Linda. My name is Catherine. I used to be a climate scientist. It was before the burn. What's the burn? Catherine. The burn is what people called the massive, uncontrolled wildfires that devastated the land. Wildfires have had been a part of living in the West for a long time, but they got larger and more and numerous. Soon they were too much for people to fight, the heat got worse, more fires started, and that released more CO2. Catherine, even worse, people began to set fire to the Amazon rainforest, which had acted as a carbon sink, reducing CO2 levels just to exploit the land for farming and mi materials and minerals. What's the climate trail? Linda, the conditions are here are getting worse. I have two friends, Bonnie and Albert. I think we all need to get onto the climate trail and go north to Canada. I didn't have enough seeds to get the supplies to make it to Canada, but Albert does. Linda, meet Albert. This is Albert. Hello, Linda. My name is Albert. Long ago, I was in the army and fought for the resource wars. Who's Bonnie? I knew Bonnie's parents. They got the plague from a permafrost melt. I promised them to take care of her and intend to live up to the promise. That's why we're going to make it to Canada. This is Bonnie. I bet you're tired of talking to Albert and Catherine. Let's go to Canada. I hear it's cooler and green. I know it's going to be hard, but we want to go. Albert. I'm worried about the trip, Bonnie. It's dangerous, and I made a promise to keep you safe. But we can't stay safe. That's the problem. But we can't stay. Catherine says so, and she's right about most things. Catherine. I'm afraid that's right. It's getting too hot and to stay here in Atlanta. Uh... Okay, I'm convinced. Let's go. We're going to need some way to carry the 100 kilograms of supplies. We need to talk to James. James is a bit crazy. Probably from the heat, but he owes me a big favor. This is James. Want some rye? Of course you do. Now, James, we know you don't have any rye that ran out years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. I forgot sometimes. Anyway, welcome to Camp Atlanta, Linda. My name is James. Well, 
You were some of the lucky ones, aren't you? Not many survived the burn. Not many people left here. Heat's getting too much. Hard to grow anything. That's why people had hit the climate trail. Now, old Interstate 75 is pretty much well trashed. What I with the storms and the fighting? Well, at least the fighting's over. Not many of us left. Al Savage, my... Oh, Al saved my life once. I owe him. So I'm going to help all of you get out of here before it's too late. I'm old to go myself, but you can make it. You're smart. So I hear how people get are getting to Canada. Load up bikes with 100 kilos of spies and push them along. This isn't a new idea. Matter of fact, folks fought to a draw with the U.S. about 100 years using the same transport pushing bikes on the trail. The good news, we got bikes. We got lucky and found 100 of them in the dump. Ride share bikes. These bikes are got trashed before the burn. They are basically, they're basic but they're sturdy. Solid synthetic tires, they can hold up a lot of weight. It will be slow going, but you pace yourself and you have supplies and treat your companions right, you might make it. Now we've got one advantage, valuable seed. 2,200 grams, you can buy food and water. Take, talk to Dorothy, she will get you started. Dorothy. Hello, Linda. My name is Dorothy. I manage the supplies at the camp. I'm already really bad. Look at me. I'm already at, say, 86, but Kate's worse. Uh, let's buy some water. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go a little bit heavier. Let's go, like, 300. Okay. Let's spend it. And then, um, let's buy some food. Um, let's go like 400 on the food. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm done shopping. My cousin Malcolm might still be running a store somewhere along the trail. He's a good person and can sell you more supplies. Good luck, Linda. Be safe on your journey north. Catherine. This is going to be a long and difficult trip, but we have no choice. Uh, let's go... Let's go moderate pace. Let's see how that goes. Set daily rations and food. Uh, let's do bare bones. Because I don't know how long it's going to be before the next door. Traveling to Dalton. Party of four. Oh. Your party spends a day collecting rainwater. Let's collect rainwater. I got 68 liters of rainwater. Any water will help. I don't care. You have arrived at Dalton. Dalton is home to many of the nation's flood floor covering manufacturers, primarily those products, carpet rugs, and vinyl flooring. Uh, let's rest for the day. Uh, and then let's see if we can find supplies. Let's see if we can find some supplies here. Uh, oh, no supplies. I'm disappointed that there was nothing here. Maybe the next town. Okay, let's continue traveling. Kate's still looking bad at 70%, so hopefully... Katanooga. Uh, let's rest for the day for sure. And then let's look for supplies. Dang, okay. And then... Let's keep going. Let's keep traveling. Morale is at 90%. We're okay so far. As long as we keep our food and water going. Oh, we spotted an abandoned truck. The truck must have been abandoned. There is many supplies in it. We found some food. Even if it's nothing, I'll take it. Everybody's still staying at the normal... Sweetwater. Legend states that the town name originated from settlers describing it the area's springs. Maybe you can find something good. Let's see if we can find some supplies... Oh, found some stuff. Okay, water. Sweet. And, okay. Stop looking. We found 80 liters of water and 16 kilos of food. I'll take it. I don't even care. Um, did we rest? I don't think we did. Let's continue traveling. Knoxville is the next one. 
We can't waste time and supplies wanting the storm to end. Find shelter and wait out the storm. You wait four days for the storm to pass. Dang, man. Okay. Hey, we're in Knoxville now. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see if we can find supplies. Oh, we found something minor. Okay. I'll take it. Um, let's rest for the day. And let's keep going. Let's do this. Jellico. Everybody's still good on their health. Oh, let's get that rainwater. Oh, that was a good rainwater. That's 120. I'll, I'll take it. We're at Jellico. Named for Angelica. An herb that used to grow in an abundance of surrounding in the surrounding mountains. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find supplies. No. Okay. Um, let's well, let's rest for the day for sure, cause we def definitely need a rest. And we're good on water. Let's just keep going. My worry is about the water for us. Corbin. To the next town. The first settlement in Corbin area was known as Lynn Camp Station. It was the first post office. It was called Cummings for community founder Nail niece Nelson Cummings. I can't even talk right now. Okay, let's see if we can find supplies. Oh, we found a little bit of food, a little bit of water. We'll take it. Okay, let's rest for the day. And then we'll keep traveling. Cause I don't I don't like Kate being at 70. Hopefully. We'll find something soon. You bought it oh. Hopefully there's something in the truck. Hey, I'll take the food, whatever it is. I don't care. Okay, we're at the next town. The town is best known for arts, festivals, historic restaurants, and buildings. Uh, see if we can find any supplies. Oh, minor. I'll take it. Better than nothing. Okay. Uh, let's rest for the day. And let's keep going. Next town. We got this. We're on day 50 we've been traveling. Whew. The horse capital of the world. Can't see if we can find supplies. Oh my gosh. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'll take it all. Thank you. We're done. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Okay. Okay, let's rest for the day. And let's keep going. Let's go. Let's do this. We're almost there on Cincinnati. Oh, let's do this. Let's get that rainwater. Let's collect that rainwater. I don't care how long it takes. Oh, nice. Let's do this. And an abandoned truck. I remember these from the time in my army. A little bit of food. I'll take it. Okay. I'm more worried about the water because of the heat than I am about the food. Okay, let's see if we can find supplies. Hey, Malcolm. I don't know if I can help you folks. Sorry about that. Dorothy told us about you could sell us some supplies. Ah, Dorothy sent you. Okay. Most of the stores are empty. I got some supplies here. Let's buy some food because we haven't gotten any water. Um, We have 600, so let's see... Okay, let's let's do let's do that. We'll we'll take that. Yes. Thank you, Malcolm. Water, I'm okay. I don't need anything else. Malcolm, glad to be of help. Good luck. Thank you, Malcolm. This was greatly this will greatly help us. Yeah, okay, let's rest for the day. We're on sixty two days, everybody. Whoa. Let's continue traveling. Okay. 
Morale is still good. Everybody's health is staying at the same. As long as we keep the pace we're going, we'll be okay. The birthplace. Let's see if we can find supplies. Oh, found some food. I'll take it. Thank you. Maybe there's more? Uh... No, okay, I guess not. Um, okay, so we're done. Maybe this will mean we're okay. Let's rest for the day. Party rest for the day. Next one, let's go. Lima. I don't know how far before the... Oh, we'll take it. I'll take it. Yep. Gotta keep that water going, everybody. Lima. I'll take it. Give me all the water, please. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Okay, water. Let's do that. Boom. Okay. And then... I don't know why Kate... Let's ration supplies. Um... So this is what? Food? Oh, water. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then we'll keep the food at the bare minimum. And let's keep going. Hopefully that'll bring Kate back up. Because I'm not liking her staying at 70. Okay, button truck. That's some food. I'll take it. Because water we're finding everywhere. But the food now is, is starting to go down. But... I'll take it. And let's see if we can find something. Okay, nothing. Um, let's go back to um, bare minimum on the water for a minute. Just because we took up a lot of water. <laughs> as soon as I do that, they gave me more water. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it again. Give me whatever you got. Okay. Uh, let's rest for the day for sure. Just give everybody a little bit of a break. Um, let's see if we can find any supplies. Oh, a little bit of food. I'll take it. Whatever it is. Um, continue traveling. Something that evening. Feral boy. Oh, need water. He has to be pretty tough to survive out here. I'm not sure about this. Let's give him some water. Good people. I give food. Oh, they gave- Okay, he gave me food. Cool. Heck yes. Mmm, I'll take it. The boy waves goodbye and disappears into the night. I never know what's gonna happen. You don't know if they're gonna attack you or not. I remember these. My time in the army. Bare minimum. We're at a day hundred. Oof. Detroit is best known for the center of the U.S. of automobile industry. Uh, let's rest for the day. We're ready here. And let's see if we can find something. Hoping finding something good. Let's see. Water and food, it looks like. We'll take it. And let's go. Let's continue on our journey. A major heat wave with dangerous temperatures hits you. This extreme heat could hurt us. Let's rest. Find train. Let's find shelter and wait it out. Four days. I don't want anybody to die. I want to get a no death run on this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. First time playing it. Let's go. We have arrived at Flint. Okay. Let's see. If we can find some supplies. Ooh, heck yeah! Water, food. 
And that's it. Okay. Wasn't too bad. I'll take it. And we already rested four days. Let's keep going. Oh, let's find shelter and wait it out. Oh, that time it didn't tell me how many days I waited. Maybe it was only a day? West Branch. Let's see if we can find some supplies. Nothing here, okay. Uh, let's rest for the day at least. Look for water. No, okay, no water. Let's go on. We tried. I looked for water. <laughs> and as soon as I do, I get rain. Let's collect that rain. I'll take it. Dang, man. Okay, let's find shelter and wait it out. No, no, it's okay, so it is a day. Whenever I don't, it doesn't say how many days, it was just a day. Well, we're getting close. Let's get those 40 liters of water. Now we're at a part I don't know. Okay. I'm collecting that water. Let's keep going. Okay, hopefully um, we can find some food. We're getting a little low and I don't want to risk it, but nothing. Okay. I'm disappointed we didn't find anything. Okay, uh, let's rest for a day. Hopefully that'll bring the morale back up because we are getting close to... Almost done, it looks like. We're getting there. I'll take it. I'll take it. See, we're back up. Okay. You have arrived at Salt St. Marie. Native American settlements, mostly of... I'm sorry, I'm not going to butcher that. People who existed here for more than 500 years. Welcome to Canada, Brian says. Woo, we got it. So, that's nice. This is a good rendition of Oregon Trail, but in a modern twist with a little bit of like end of the world scenario. Not many people make it this far. I heard the people here figured out how to survive. I'm impressed. Tell me more. Luck and planning. We are close to Lake Superior, the largest fresh water in the world. But most uh, more than that, we had our own solar and wind power, so we could use that and the water to fight the wildfires. Sadly, many we may have brought ourselves only a few decades. The oceans continue to evaporate. We are if they continue to go evaporates or whatever, we are done. Once the oxygen is gone, the oceans become a realm of bacteria that obtain their oxygen from sulfur oxide compounds. These bacteria strips oxygen from the compounds and produce hydrogen sulfate. Hydrogen sulfate kills organisms that kill, which means us, millions of years ago that they're getting it again. The extinction. Ah. We're killed off so many species on Earth, and in a way, it's karma. If only people had taken this seriously. The end. Dun dun dun. So, <laughs> that was really cool. It's warming. Earth has always had natural cycles of warming and cooling, but not like we're seeing now. The top five hottest years on record were 16, 2016, 15, 17, 18, and 14. The rising temperature only mean it's getting hotter. The Earth's climate is complex. Even a small increase in average global temperature means big changes and a lot of dangerous side effects. It's U.S. It's bad. We can fix it. We know exactly what we have to do. Keep fossil fuels and grow and quickly transition to 100% renewable energy. And that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the climate trail. I guess because I played Oregon Trail, 
I was hoarding everything that I could possibly hoard and didn't want to take any chances with anything so I did bare bones rations and in the middle of pacing and I got myself to Canada. That is Climate Trail. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Was it your cup of tea? And did they do good and give a spin-off on Oregon Trail? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, hit the sub button. Keep on gaming, everybody, and I'll catch you next video. Bye. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games.